Hello friends, this video on probability part 21 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 20. A girl throws a die and she gets, if she gets 5 or 6, so you may get, if you throw a die, you may get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you get 5, 6, she tossed a coin thrice, c1, c2, c3. And note the number of heads. If she gets 1, 2, 3, 4, she tossed a coin only once and notes whether it is a head or tail. If she obtained exactly one head, what is the probability that she threw one, two, three or four die? So in this case, there are two scenarios, right? So one is she gets one, two, three, four. Other is she gets five, six. If she gets five, six, she has, she tossed coins thrice. If she, uh, Gets 1, 2, 3, 4, she toss coins. Right? She's getting exactly one head. So this in this case, C may get head or tail. Right? In this case, if you see, there are a lot of scenarios. There are zero heads, one heads, two heads, three heads. So there's but C is looking only for exactly one head. So exactly one head will be in this scenarios. You get head, tail, tail, head, uh, sorry, tail, tail, head, or tail, head, tail. Only three scenarios where you get exactly one head. Other scenarios are there. This is one head. You can have zero head also. Zero head, this T, T, T. Two heads, that is head, head, tail, head, tail, head, tail, head, head, and three heads. So all the scenarios will occur, right? But I am interested only in one head. So, see, through this die, if she get five, six, she, she gets this scenarios, one head, two head, three head, zero head, and if he uh, throws, if he gets one, two, three, four, she again throws a coin and she gets this scenarios. I am looking only for one head now. Now, what, do, what is the probability that C, threw, C already got a head? So, probability that C got only head once, one head, that means the one with the red. And we have to find the probability that C threw one, two, three, three. This is what we have to find. This is nothing but probability of getting head one, when C threw one, two, three, four, into probability of one, two, three, four, by a probability of getting head one. So, if 1, 2, 3, 4 is selected, what is the probability of getting head 1? 1 by 2, right? 1 head, 1, 10, equal probability, so 1 by 2. Into probability of getting 1, 2, 3, 4 is what? 4 by 6, right? 4 options by 6 total sample space, by probability of getting 1 head. So there are two possible scenarios. One is this path, the other is this path. In this path, since this probability is 4 by 6 and here it is 2 by 6, you say 4 by 6 into 1 by 2, plus this path will be 2 by 6 into 1, 2, 3 scenarios by total number of scenarios 8 because there are 3 coins, 2 into 2 into 2, 8, right? you count also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, this is what you get. So if you solve this, what you get is 8 by 11 and that is my answer. Just to understand this, not a difficult question, so you see has a tie, see through it, if she gets 5 or 6, the probability of getting that is 2 by 6. C again threw 3 coins. If C get 1, 2, 3, 4, the probability of that getting that is 4 by 6. C threw only 1 coin. And stole that C got exactly 1 head. So this can be 1 scenario or these 3 scenarios, right? So in that case, we find the, use the Bayes theorem and got this formula and we put the value and get the answer. Let's take the last question of the Bayes theorem. Please pay attention here. The card is a card. One card is drawn from the pack of 52 cards lost. So you take out one card and throw it. So you are left with the different cards. The remaining cards, two cards are drawn and found to be diamonds. And the remaining two cards which we found was diamonds. Find the probability of the lost card being time. So when you have this card with 52 numbers, you lose one card, it may be a diamond, 
it may not be enabled. Right? Two scenarios. Diamond may not be diamond. Why I am taking, taking this? Because find the probability of lost card being diamond. That's the question here. That's why I took this first filtering for one card lost now. So the, the probability it will be diamond is how much? 13 by 52 because there are 13 diamonds. 52 cards. And the probability it is not diamond this is 1 by 4. So 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4. Right? 13 by 52 is nothing but 1 by 4. Correct. Now in this case the diamond is lost. So we have now 51 cards. Correct. So 51 cards out of that we have 12 diamonds. Right. And 39 other cards. Here we have 13 diamonds and 38 other cards. Since we are focusing only on diamonds, so I am taking only diamonds. In the next throw, two cards are drawn. Right? So it can be both diamond. Two cards are drawn and both are diamond. Right? And it, it may be that both are not diamond. Only two option. Correct. In this case also, this is one piece actually, one, one whole thing. So in this case also, if you see, it can be both diamond and both not diamond. I am interested in this case and this case. Correct. So in this case, there are 12 diamonds. From that, I am taking out two diamonds. So probability is 12C2 by total number of cards is 51 now. 51C2. For this case, they are, I am taking out two diamonds from 13 diamonds. So the probability is 13C2 by 51C2. Hope you understand this. Here we had 12 diamonds because the first diamond we took out was diamond. So 12C2. Here we had 13 diamond because the first card which took out is not diamond to 13 C2. Correct. So this if you saw, this comes out to be 22 by 425 and this comes out to be 26 by 425. Now let's use the formula. The formula we do is we have to find the probability the lost card is diamond. Probability that the lost is equal to diamond. Given next to Right. is nothing but probability that next to diamond given lost is equal to diamond into probability of lost is equal to diamond by probability of next to diamond. I you understand this formula. This is nothing but probability of next two diamond given lost diamond. If lost is equal to diamond, you are here. Probability of next two diamond is 22 by 4, 25. Into probability of lost is equal to diamond. So probability of losing a diamond is 1 by 4. Divide by probability of next two diamond. There are two scenarios. One is this guy, one is this guy. We'll take both and add. So this guy will be 1 by 4 into this. 1 by 4 into this 2, 2 by 4 25 plus this part 3 by 4 into this guy 26 by 4 25. So if you solve this you get 11 by 50 and that is your answer. So I hope this part is clear to you where we have this pack of two cards you took out one, one card the scenarios are it may be diamond may not be diamond. The remaining 51 card, you took out two cards, that was diamond, right? There are two scenarios for both because you this scenario would have occurred or this scenario would have occurred, we don't know. And we have to find the probability of lost is equal to diamond given that the next two cards was diamond. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.